Bro, what the fuck? What is even happening? I am at over 1,500 subscribers. I have never hit that point ever in my YouTube career. And I've lost hundreds of subscribers in the past. My phase five video almost has a thousand views. And to kind of put that into context, I was hitting 20 views average per video. Something else that's absolutely nutty. Yesterday, I was at 800 followers on TikTok. I am now at over 2,100 followers. I, I really don't know what to say other than thank you so much to everybody that's been super supportive. Like I said yesterday, I, I read pretty much every comment. I see who's supporting me. I see all of the receipts that you guys are sending out. My mind is genuinely blown. I feel stupid every single time that I say thank you because it just becomes redundant at some point. Genuinely, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys, what the fuck? <laughs> we're going to the goddamn moon, baby, and we're gonna need all the support we can get. So just like anything that happens on the internet, there are gonna be people that are just pissed for no reason. And I think this is the final time I'm going to give any sort of hater any type of attention. It's just too good. I can't pass up this opportunity. So I posted a part of my phase five recruitment challenge announcement on TikTok. In that video, I basically talk about how I want to be a part of phase. I want to join phase. My boy John says, not with those clips. <laughs> I also talk about the fact that I graduated college and that my main job that I want to be is a content creator. This guy with the cryptid language as his username says, um, I think Subway is hiring. Steal Your Base says, what was the point of going to college then? They're your best clips good luck buddy from michael spina your username is too long while this is not a hate comment from ferris i'm gonna address that anyway join the military elliot says i'm sorry but you ain't making it cameron perry says who not go for the obey rc for now until phase five drop wow i don't know why that was so hard to read raves how you doing baby girl i got a bunch of hate comments that were very similar to that before i go and address all of these comments i just want to say i never take any hate comment to heart i've been doing this whole youtube thing for over 10 years now. I've had my fair share of controversy and I've had people call me everything in the book. Well, I know I shouldn't be addressing these people that are just leaving negative comments. I get it. They're working on a lower frequency than people that spread kind messages and constructive feedback. I'm gonna do it anyway because I'll expose anything for content. <laughs> and the final point that I wanted to just say before we get into these comments is everybody on YouTube has just been so supportive. I didn't have one negative comment on any of my YouTube videos after I gained that small little bit of popularity on that video. It's all TikTok and that's expected whenever your content is being exposed to a wider audience. So with the gameplay, people were really pissed about how I didn't really get that great of clips within that specific video. So if you watch it, it's just me essentially sniping. There's nothing really impressive going on here. I know this. There's no five ons. There's no headshot clips. There's nothing crazy going on here. I use that footage as filler footage for something for people to look at while I'm talking so that way they can absorb what I'm saying while at the same time not looking at a black screen. It was definitely an oversight on my part. I should have put something that was a little bit better. At the end of the day, it wasn't supposed to be anything impressive. And if I had to be honest, I'm not anything impressive at Call of Duty. If anything, I'm a little better than average. Content, as far as clips go, were never my focus on YouTube. I've always wanted to be a personality, not somebody who just hits clips. If you're looking for that, there are some insane snipers that are in this community. People in Soar, people in Obey, like, go follow their channels. They're very underrated and they make fantastic content. And while I like hitting clips, look dog, that's not me. I'm not here to hit insane clips. I'm here to entertain with my voice, with my anecdotes, and with my crazy fucking rants. Now to the dressing the whole college thing. Why did you go to college if your whole goal is to be a content creator? And I definitely think that that's a fair criticism. I'm not upset at those people thinking that college is a waste of time if all you want to do is make YouTube videos for a living. College has given me a plan B. I've already had these skills in communications before I went to college. If anything, college has helped me refine my skills and make it better. But what college for me is super important for is gaining life experiences that you can't live anywhere else. You're an adult and you're put with other adults in a similar age in this small, refined space with rules. With those forces in mind, you grow a ton because you gain friends. You become socially adept. You learn to work together in projects. You learn to be a leader. You learn to serve other people other than yourself and serve the community. You gain insights from people that run huge businesses. I became the president of a fraternity and I learned so much about myself within the five years that I went to college. I'm not saying this 
this to, to gain pity, but my stepfather passed away during college. And without that distraction, I don't think I would have been able to get through it in a healthy way. I wouldn't take back the loans that I've taken out. I wouldn't change what I've done. College was very fulfilling for me and I love the place that I went to. It's also given me a good plan B just in case this whole thing doesn't work out because that is definitely something that's on my mind. I still dogged on the ending of that video where I said, I'm going to become face spin shoot and press. And I, <laughs> I get it. It doesn't have the best ring to it, but I think I'm going to have two types of branding for my phase name if I do get in. It's either going to be phase spin or phase SSI. I'm not too sure what I'm going to make it yet, but I'm leaning towards phase SSI because that is what I've always had in my head as the vision. But you know, things will change as time goes on and I become influenced by different ideas. I think the final point that these people that were basically trolling me was that you have no chance just in general. Do me a favor and pause this video, go to Casey Neistat's channel and look for a video that says, do what you can't. If you're too lazy to do so, I'll summarize it for you. Touches on the idea that life is very short. You only get one shot. When I think about my ideal life, I want to put all of my effort into that ideal life because if not, I'm just going to be unhappy with where I'm at. I can be comfortable in a real life job and still be unhappy thinking, what if I put more effort into this platform? What if, what if, what if? I would rather fail knowing that I put all of my effort into something and to fail and say, I had no chance anyway. Why would I even try? I don't know on this topic because this is just turning into its own video with just my face. And that's definitely not the content that I'm trying to put out there. You could do anything you set your mind to. You're going to have to make sacrifices along the way, but if you're willing to put in the work into something, you definitely can make it. Again, just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support thus far. Hey guys, it's been your boy Spin Shoot and Press and or Brandon. Like I said, tomorrow we're going back to the regularly scheduled content. Modern Warfare, best moments, all that fun shit. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments down below. It helps me more than you realize. Leave a like, subscribe, and if you're truly invested, hit that notification bell button. You'll receive a little message every single time that I upload. Anyway, guys, like I said earlier, it's been your boy, Spin Shooting Press and or Brandon. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'm out, guys. Take it easy.